What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Here is a very important piece of information for you guys. Google has finally started rolling out the theft detection feature for the Android devices. Now this may or may not be available for your device. Uh, be wary of that. Currently I have seen this feature on the Galaxy S24 series. This is the S24 Ultra I have got here and I can see that feature available on this device. And we will also go ahead and check out the S23 series and the S22 series. Let's see whether this is available on these phones or not. But before we go ahead, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and if you haven't been a part of Apex community yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. You get to learn a lot about your Galaxy phones, Android phones, Galaxy watches and anything related to technology and some important update related videos also I keep posting. So you get to learn a lot. So go ahead, hit the subscribe button and become a part of Apex community and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Now, I did discuss about this feature almost a month ago. Theft detection was coming. It was announced sometime back by Google for the Android devices. And we saw that option on the Google Pixel phones. And now the S24 Ultra also has received this feature. Let me just go to the settings here and I'll tap on security and privacy. Now here, let me tap on more security setting. Now you see we have got this option theft protection right here. Let me tap on this. It says use built-in safeguards to protect your personal data if your device is stolen. Now here we've got theft detection lock. The screen will lock if this setting detects that someone uh, took your device and ran away. And we also have offline device lock. If you enable this, the screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to help protect your data. Now let me just tap on this here and try to enable this. It says if theft detection lock detects that your device was taken from you, your device screen will lock automatically to prevent anyone from accessing your personal data. This feature uses your device's motion sensors as well as its Wi-Fi and and smart device connections to try and detect if someone takes your phone abruptly and runs away. Now this is a very important information here. It clearly says how it detects theft. Google said that it is using AI and uh, machine learning algorithms to detect the theft and here it's clearly mentioned that you know whenever somebody steals your phone it will use the motion sensor as well as its Wi-Fi and smart device connections to try and detect if someone takes your phone abruptly. And I also read somewhere that it detects the motion immediately after somebody steals your phone. Let's say if somebody steals your phone, obviously they're going to run or they might bike or uh, drive away from you. So the phone will detect that if there is a fast motion after the phone was snatched, then it will know that the phone has been snatched. That is how the AI or machine learning algorithm has been used here. We actually thought that if there is a motion sensor, why can't it detect the theft? It doesn't just depend on the motion sensor, it depends on various other aspects as well. That is what is being used here to detect the theft and lock the phone. Now let me just turn this on. Here we go, if somebody steals the phone when I'm using it, uh, this will lock the phone immediately. If the phone is not locked, if somebody steals, obviously the person will have an access to your personal data. You might have stored some important information on your phone and even the gallery will be accessible to that person. So this is a very important uh, toggle that you have to turn on on your Galaxy phone. Next, we have got offline device lock. Let me enable this. Here it says your device screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to help protect your data. For example, your device will lock if someone steals it and turns off the internet to prevent location tracking. Bear in mind, you must be actively using your device while it's unlocked. The screen can be locked up to twice a day. Now, this is something which you have to be careful when you enable this. Because if you have a habit of turning off your data by yourself and not using your phone actively, then this feature may not be useful for you. Again, this basically locks your device if someone steals it and turns off the internet to prevent location tracking. So if the phone gets locked, the other person will not be able to turn off the data. You will still be able to track your phone using Find My Device. Now you may think the thief can turn off your device. Even for that, there is protection. You can set the screen lock for turning off your device. Whenever you type to turn off the device by tapping on the power button or pressing and holding down the volume down key or the lock uh, the side key the phone will start asking the password so that is a setting which you can turn on and if you want to know how to turn on that feature i have made a video about that i will post a link for that in the description you can go ahead and check out that video i will also pin that video in the comment section that's also a very important video for you guys to watch so don't miss that video go ahead and watch it now let's go ahead and turn this on as well 
Now these are two important features that we have got and we also have find and erase your device option here. Use find my device to locate or erase your device. Let me tap on this. Here it says if you lose this device or any connected fast pair accessories, you can use find my device to locate them. Again, this is quite important. You need to turn on find my device feature just in case if you lose your phone, you will be able to uh, log into your account and access the find my device feature and you'll be able to locate your phone as long as the phone is connected to the internet and turned on. Then we have got find your offline devices. I will tap on this. Again, let me just quickly read this out for you to help locate this device and your fast pair accessories when offline. Find my device can use encrypted location info sent by this Android device and others in the find my device network. So this means even when the phone is offline and not connected to the internet, you will still be able to find your device's location. When your Android device participates in the network, it securely sends location info of devices it detects nearby to help their owners find them. Here we've got a few options without network. Your device won't participate in the network. You can still locate your offline devices using their stored recent locations when they were online. So you will be able to see the location at which the phone was online if you select this option. Then we have got with network in high traffic areas only. And then we have got with network in all areas. So these are some options that we have got. You can deep dive into this and go through this and try to understand it and select the option that you want to select. Now I will select without network here. Let's see what happens. I will tap on this. It says to help you locate this device even when it's offline, find my device will encrypt and store its most recent location. Only you will see its location, it will not be visible to Google and it will use the screen lock of the device uh, including this one to encrypt this device location it says. All you need to do is just enter the screen lock here and here you'll be able to select the device and then you can enter the pin and follow the prompts to complete this feature. Now these are some very important options that we have got on the Samsung Galaxy phones or any other Android phones and you need to make sure you enable all these options. The brand new option is theft detection lock and offline device lock. These are very important features that you need to enable on your Galaxy phone. So go ahead and do that. Now let's see if we have got this feature on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. We have got the S23 Ultra here. And uh, let me go to the settings here and I'll tap on security and privacy. Now here I will tap on more security settings. No, we do not have theft detection option on this. Let me show you this here on the S24 Ultra. We've got secure folder, enhanced data protection, Samsung Pass. If you scroll down, you see we've got theft protection on the S24 Ultra and it is not available on this device. Now let me just put this phone aside. Let's check this out on the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Let's go to settings here, tap on security and privacy and let's tap on more security settings. Again here, there is no theft detection feature available for the Galaxy S22 series. So right now, we can see this feature available on the Galaxy S24 Ultra or the Galaxy S24 series and uh, you may get this update on your device very soon with the next uh, Google security updates or the next security patches. So let's wait and see that. Uh, I'm not very sure how did I get this particular feature on the phone. Uh, I saw the articles, news articles today that this feature has been released. The theft protection is now available on uh, many of the Android phones. I went ahead and checked it on the S24 Ultra. It was sitting right here under more security setting. That's about it. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know whether you have got this feature or not. Drop a comment and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.